Well, if we haven't heard it in the news, we're aware of it on social media because the issue of racial equality has been brought straight into our feeds. It might have started in America, but now countries the world over are reflecting on racism in their own backyards. Jerusalem yesterday becoming the second Israeli city to demonstrate after Tel Aviv last week. Elsewhere on the streets, we're seeing protests across the globe, from Hollywood to London and Berlin, Paris and cities across Italy, in Australia, we're seeing signs reading same story, different soil. But as the dialogue about equality is had under the banner of Black Lives Matter, the conversation is taking on a different tone by some Jews, Israelis or pro-Israel supporters denouncing BLM.org ties to anti-Israel sentiment. One woman who moved to Israel from the US four years ago has been having conversations about this topic here in the Holy Land, and Chaya Lev joins me now in the studio. Chaya, a pleasure to have you with us. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Of course. Now, yeah. it's a tough issue. There are a lot of shades of grey here, particularly around the issue here in Israel mm -hmm. and among Jewish people. But you're in a unique position to discuss mm -hmm. this issue, being a black Jewish woman from mm -hmm. America, now living in Israel. Oh. Uh, what does the Black Lives <laughs> Matter movement mean to you? Um, when I personally hear Black Lives Matter, um, first I think, wow, it's so significant that I have to say to someone that my life as a black life matters. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's me saying I've seen over the years from the time my people were enslaved 400 years ago to Jim Crow laws to the murder of Emmett Till. There's just been so much Trayvon Martin. And many of us in the black community are saying we're not treated like we matter. So we say our lives matter mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. too. The it's not too. over anybody. It's not a competition on mm -hmm. whose life is better. Mm -hmm. It's our lives matter too. Mm -hmm. It's something that we're having to talk to our children about. Right. So it's it's like a statement. Right, but you say black lives matter too, and then you'll hear the retort Jews' lives matter too because they share in that feeling of, of persecution since uh, the dawn of time, some would argue. So how do you reconcile the two knowing that the BLM.org movement uh, you know, harbors anti-Israel sentiment by some of those members? Well, first I'd like to say I don't know much about the BLM movement.org, the Black Lives Matter movement.org, because when I say Black Lives Matter, I'm not part of an organization other than wanting people to not erase me. When I say Black Lives Matter and you come behind me, all lives matter, you're erasing what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know much about that movement in general, so I can't really rectify something I don't know much about. What I want people to do is just understand that I want them to see me as a black life that's also important to society. Mm -hmm. Because for many years, based on American you know, history, we were property. We were chattled in, you know, by way of slavery. We weren't looked at as a life. Mm -hmm. There's, there's, there's something that was on the books three fifth of a that we were three fifths of a human. So we're saying we're not property anymore. Mm -hmm. We are lives, mm -hmm. and we matter. We want to be part of this. We want to be at the table as well. We want to be treated fairly. Right. But then one That's also it. sees, I mean, from the from those people uh, that 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 identify as Jewish, and they understand that those in the BLM.org movement harbor some anti. Israel and anti-Jewish sentiment. Uh, how do you invite these people to be able to come to the table and support the Black Lives Matter 2 movement when they feel that perhaps by supporting that they feel like you know their beliefs are under threat? I think that they should read um, look like what I've done at the um, internet, Google, which is very out there for all of us, and understand that when you say Jewish, you have to understand that there are some black Jews out there. We're in there too. So when you're saying Jewish lives matter, you may very much be talking about me as well. Mm -hmm. So I think the research and not just believing everything you hear mm -hmm. is like important. And you've been having these conversations with people oh, here sure. in Israel. So what have people shared with you about the dissonance between the Jews lives matter feeling versus the black lives matter feeling, although it shouldn't be a one versus yeah, the other? Yeah, it shouldn't be one. It's mm -hmm. not a competition. I'm very pro-Israel. This is why I moved here. I'm, I, I love Israel, 100,000%. I support Israel. Um, but also, I live in Israel, but I have family that lives in America. So I have to maintain that we're just as important. Even if I wasn't black, mm -hmm. I would still be saying, mm -hmm. Those people are just as important. Right, but when you're speaking to, say, Jewish people that live in Israel here, what are they sharing with you about this issue? Honestly, to be completely honest, um, 
people in Israel have been really open and honest and asking me questions. It's Jews in America that I'm hearing, or American Jews in Israel, but when I'm talking to Israelis, they're going, we understand, we get it, we see your pain, we see what's going on in the streets. We see why you have to say that. The fact that you even have to say that you matter, mm. that's, yeah. that's more of the question now, that you should the, be talking whether about. Anyone has to say they matter is, of course, the shame. Hi, thank you so much for coming thank and sharing you. that, your personal you story. You're in a really me. unique position to shed uh, light on this issue. Thank you. Thank you so much.